which is going to have to put a little bit more in. Oh, and got it oh. out of nowhere! Masla Boyan, the sledgehammer. Four. So guys that aren't accustomed to losing, squaring off here tonight in Dusseldorf. Yep, this is going to be the test for Rajiv Zadeh. Let's see. Rajiv Zadeh in the red trunks, Masla Boyev in the white trunks. I'd love to see you try and spell these names, Joe. <laughs> I'm having enough problems saying it. Never mind spelling it. A lot of vowels. Both guys with a very patient, but both explosive. Light heavyweight division. Not a lot of moving. Strong stance, not much bouncing. When they throw, they got power. They're both sitting down, waiting to land a big power punch and kick. Break! Fight! Maslaboy have wanted to use the jab. Good strategy to keep Rajabzadeh away. Rajabzadeh born in Iran and said in that culture, you must fight at some point. You have no choice. Turned out he was very good at it. Started focusing his time and skills on kickboxing. That is known for his low kicks. Says he has broken legs in the past. I don't doubt it. Straight right hand just missed. Caught a light jab, though. Did Rajab Zadeh. He's bringing a lot of power in everything he throws. Same with Maslaboyev. Really sticking his weight behind the jab. Can you imagine, I know you can't, Joe, but can you imagine someone the size of Raj Jazade kicking you as hard as he can in the back of the thigh? Yep, and he's good at it. I mean, he just throws everything with power. The question is three rounds of it. Maslaboyev wants to stay patient. I think he feels that in the later rounds so he can pick it up. Nice low kick timing for Rabaj Zadeh. One of my favorite timings. If my opponent jabs, boom, take the leg. Nice low kick timing. And what you've seen so far, what do you make of Rajiv Zadeh in the red trunks? He looks confident. I mean, so he looks experienced. He's not getting overwhelmed. He's sticking to his game plan and his style. Really chopping away the legs and then mixing in power punches. Or Maslaboyev is a little bit more longer, wants to use the jab. Prefers his combinations. Which is going to have to put a little bit more in. Oh, and got it oh. Out of nowhere! Masla Boyan, the sledgehammer, Four. sends Rajab Zadeh to the canvas for the Six. first time in his career. Seven. Eight. Just out of nowhere. Go to me. What a knee to the head. Rajab Zadeh was winning that round until the bitter end. Yeah, he, he sat behind that jab and then just threw that surprise attack in. You don't expect that. Rajab Zadeh, as I mentioned, born in Iran, now lives and trains in Baku, Azerbaijan. 54 career knockouts, but as I mentioned, Joe, had never been down until what we just saw. Yeah, that was a good surprise attack from Sergei Masloboya from Lithuania. The sledgehammer came out at the end of that round. I mean, you got to see how experienced he has notable wins over Antonio Plazabat, Stefan Sesperigi, you know, fights with Alex Pereira. But he's been sticking behind that jab in that first round, and then all of a sudden came with that flying scissor left knee. Set up perfectly, boom, right on the button. Just as the time came down, threw that right knee up, scissored the left, right on target. So what would have been a 10-9 round, most what? likely, for Rajab Zadeh becomes a 10-8 round for Masla Boyev. Rajab Zadeh has some work to do now. One judge even scored at 9-9. There's a knee. Is that a knockdown? The way he was sitting in the corner, it looked like it, but Paul Nichols has the closest eyes. Ooh, a high kick. Right, right. 
Masla Boyev knows if he can connect again to that head, he's got to go down. Yeah, he's not throwing a lot, but when he does, it's something different. It's something surprised. It's very explosive. He won't throw a head kick. You know, boom, it comes out of nowhere. The knees out of nowhere. We're liking those surprise attacks. Masla Boyev, believe it or not, has only landed eight total strikes, but one of them was a knockdown. That now level changing, using his knees. He's starting to pick it up now. Rajab Zadeh might be gassing out with all the power. Well, Joe, when you take a shot to the head like Rajab Zadeh does, you've been in there. What is it like? How do you shake the cobwebs out the next round or two? Well, sometimes uh, you don't. <laughs> it just stays there, and you're, you stay concussed throughout the next round. But uh, once he's back, he seems like he's back. I mean, it could take your gas out, but I just think he threw so much power. And now he just seems to be a, a target for Masloboyev to pick Fight. apart. Fight! Not sure what happened there. Almost looked like he was giving up. Well, Rajab Zadeh, not used to facing adversity. When you're 57 and 0, it almost comes too easy for you. That's not the case here tonight. Oh, I like how calm Maslaboyev is. Mixing up well now, he can do what he wants. He just has to wait for the single power shots. Caught it with a left hook. Nice shot there for Maslaboya. Yep, sitting behind that jab. Excuse me, Rajab Zadeh. Yep, Maslaboya sitting behind that jab and then just mixing. Either knees, head Time. kicks. Neutral. Well, this is a break that Rajab Zadeh certainly needs. Not a lot there, but not too much, but probably a needed break from both guys. But as even I've learned throughout my life, it doesn't take much for that to hurt. Time in. Fight! Level changing for Maslaboya. Punches and knees. See, we've gotten him angry. Fight! The Lithuanian has been very selective about when he throws punches and kicks. Yeah, because he knows the power that Rajazabde has. <laughs> Ten seconds left here in round two. Be sure to visit Glory's Facebook page if you haven't already. Stay up to date on the latest Glory news, social media features, promotions, and more. Glory Facebook. You got to see Maslaboyev stay technical, use his jab, and really try to set things up behind it, where Rajab Zadeh needs to put that pressure forward. He needs to come forward, let his power punches go, go back to those low kicks, and see if he can find those hands. Let's see how much energy these gentlemen have. Round two was a good one for Maslaboyev. All five judges score for him, so Rajab Zadeh could be facing his first ever loss here tonight unless he gets a knockout, Joe. Yep, Maslaboy have switched stands for a second because he knows Rajab Zadeh is going for those legs again. Nice front kick. Break! Fight! Round two much stronger for the black corner. Yep, he started mixing well in that second round. Break. Combinations, found his knees, worked the body. Accidental. Accidental. Fight! Rajab Zadeh 
Finding more energy here in round three. Yeah, he's going back to those low kicks that he had success with in the first round. But Maslaboyev's eyes are sharp. You can see him exiting, just, you know, getting out of range of the punches. Boyev trains and fights out of the Lithuanian capital city of Vilnius, where he's also a gym owner. Oh, nice spinning attack there for Rajiv Zade. Yeah, he's trying to land anything he can now. Just swinging with his punches. That's why the Maslaboyev jab is good to, to keep him at bay. Yeah, Maslaboyev was a very highly targeted free agent that Glory was excited to sign. Time, doctor, neutral. Doctor. They clashed heads again. Oh boy, that's a bad one. I was going to ask you, from what you've seen from Maslaboyev, is the hype real? I think he looks great so far, and I think his ability to mix up his strikes have been really impressive. We saw him use some good boxing with level changes. He kicked well. He's had some flying knees. But there's the crash. Rajab Zadeh dipped his head to he kind can. of punch. He can. He can. Okay. Okay. Gonna look at it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Time in. Fight. Keep your heads up. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Minute to go here. Masla Boyev leading this fight comfortably after a first round knockdown of Rajab Zadeh, who's wearing the red trunks. And the red blood coming down. Maybe the blood woke him up, gave him some energy. Fight! the boy is still content sitting in the pocket. Is not fearful of Rajab Zadeh's power at all. Stop holding, guys. Fight! It looks like Rajiv Zadeh wants to spin with something. He went up spinning back. Chris lands a right hand, and Masla Boyev took a step back. But too little, too late for the Azerbaijan fighter making his glory debut. Nice stuff from Kuvalda, the sledgehammer. The decision when we return. We welcome you back. Highlights from this light heavyweight showdown, Joe. Yeah, we saw first round, a lot of power coming from Raptor Zadeh. Until the end of the first round, we saw that scissor knee knockdown from Mos Loboyev. Perfectly timed, came out of surprise. Got him a 10-8 in that first round. Rajab Zadeh just showed a lot of toughness, but Maslaboyev stayed technical, picked his shots, you know, mixed the body really well, mixed his kick, punches, and knees. But a lot of toughness. We saw the clash of heads with some blood, but a good technical performance from Maslaboyev. Strikes by round. Rajab Zadeh did better in the first round, but it was scoring-wise his worst round because he was knocked down. Nice job picking things up for Maslaboyev in rounds two and three. Tim Hughes has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores the bout 30-26. Our four remaining judges all see it 29-27. A unanimous decision for your winner, Sergei Maslaboyev! So Maslaboyev wins in his glory debut. Six straight win for him. What do you make of his chances going further, going forward in the light heavyweight division? Yeah, like I said, I like the way he could mix his strikes. He stayed patient against a power striker. Had to really, you know, dig deep to find things. But he's talented, and I think uh, we're going to see some good fights out of him.